Hi, and welcome to Unit 6 of Economics, titled Money, Banking, and Financial Markets. So, we're going to take an extended exploration into the realm of economic principles and mechanisms. Over the next few minutes, our focus will be on elucidating the functions of money within the context of an economy, analyzing the crucial role of financial institutions, in fostering economic stability. We're going to examine the intricate mechanisms of central banking and their impact on monetary policy. We will evaluate the symbolic relationship between interest rates and financial markets. And we're going to delve into the nuanced concept of risk and its profound implications in financial decision making within a broader economic framework. So. Let's begin. So we're going to look at the multifaceted functions of money within the context of an economy. Money as a medium of exchange, a unit of account, and a store of value plays a pivotal role in facilitating economic transactions and ensuring the smooth functioning of markets. As we delve into the intricacies of these functions, we will uncover the fundamental role that money plays in underpinning the stability and efficiency of modern economies. So we'll then transition into the role and significance of financial institutions in the economic landscape. These institutions ranging from banks to investment firms form the backbone of economic transactions channeling funds from savers to borrowers and fostering stability through prudent financial management. Our, anal our analysis will extend to understanding how these institutions act as catalysts for economic growth and development. So the two types that we will be uh, looking at closely will be simple. We'll take a look at banking and there will be two types of banking that we will look at. Commercial banking and investment banking. Commercial banking is the one that you're more used to. This is the one that has your savings account, your checking account, that you uh, transfer money from, that you get your debit or credit card from. Whereas an investment bank is a little more specialized. A, an investment bank helps uh, companies uh, become public. Its role is to um, raise capital for companies and to act as an advisor in mergers and acquisitions. So we'll talk a little bit more about these once we get into the lesson, but let's just move a little forward into central banking. So we're gonna look at how central banks work and how their profound impact on monetary policy happens. So central banks are the guardians of a nation's monetary system. They considerable influence over interest rates, money supply, and inflation, which are all three critical factors for everyday life. We will unravel the tools at their disposal and assess how these mechanisms shape economic conditions and financial stability. Uh, we're going to discuss some of the financial, uh, we're going to discuss the financial crisis of 2008 and the role that the Central Bank of the U.S., known as the Federal Reserve, played in helping to save the economy at the time from a complete and utter disaster. So next, uh, we're going to evaluate, we're going to be evaluating the relationship between interest rates and the behavior of financial markets. So interest rates are the determinant of uh, borrowing costs and investment decisions. So they exert a powerful influence on financial markets. So let's say you want to take out a loan for a car and you're supposed to pay 10% interest on that loan. Uh, say in two years, though that interest rate drops to 5%. What that does is spur more borrowing. People will be more encouraged, more motivated to borrow. And that can spur the economy. Meanwhile, 
if there's a lot of purchases going on, if the economy is getting too hot, inflation could occur. And what you want to do then is try to slow down uh, the rate of inflation. So you might end up slowing down the economy as you do that through raising interest rates again. So say you raise interest rates back again to hypothetically 15%. That'll discourage borrowers, borrowers from going to the banks. That'll discourage firms from taking large um, debt. And so that will slow inflation down. That'll cool inflation down a little bit. So finally, we're going to explore the concept of risk and its far-reaching implications in financial decision-making. Uh, risk, which is inherent in every economic endeavor, influence, influences investment choices, financial strategies, and economic policies. We're going to be learning how insurance, insurance companies work, how they manage risk, because insurance is a game of managing risk. And we're going to learn about the how it affects and connects with the economic landscape. So we can see how individuals, businesses, and policymakers navigate the delicate balance between risk and reward. So as we draw the week uh, to an end uh, of this extended exploration, uh, we reflect on the principles and mechanisms that underpin modern economies from the fundamental functions of money to the intricate uh, world of interest rates and the ever-present specter of risk. So we're going to take, be taking a look at these essential elements shaping economic landscapes and policies. We might uh, kick off an early project uh, at the beginning of the term that has to do with banking and insurance. We'll be speaking about that in more detail. And I look forward to seeing you all and working with you once we commence this new semester. So thank you.